How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be taking a look at a little game called The Kindred. It is currently in early access and I've been playing it for about an hour now. The only reason that I really stopped is because I've been running into some problems with it and it uh, really detracted a little bit too much from the experience of the game to actually continue playing it in its current state for me. It is not a completely bad game, it's simply there are some huge glaring issues with it at the moment and I thought I would cover what some of those are so hopefully they can be improved. Uh, the biggest one I think is the fact that I can't uh, cancel build. What the hell did that happen? I, you can't cancel building by right clicking. So in other words, if I click on the build menu here, select uh, something like the floor and then select a material to build the floor out of, you're going to be hearing that that beeping, bumping, whatever noise in the background because I don't have enough, I don't have enough food. Uh, then we, you know, you select that to build something. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to actually build it there. Well, how do you cancel it? You can't right click to cancel it. You can't center click um there's just no way to cancel it except by to scroll all the way over here to the right corner and click on this really tiny x a couple of times and then it's canceled so that's just tedious as all hell um the the kins in the past have bugged out for me a couple of times when they're supposed to be eating they would just sit down and then not do anything after they're supposedly done eating they had food it wasn't that it was all, all out of food uh, but they would just like sit down at the research desk and do nothing. Unfortunately, I lost that game. I did not actually save it, so we don't get to see what's going on there. Um, another problem was structure. This is by design, I imagine, but it doesn't make any sense to me. When I build a structure, for example, I wanted to build a floor here. Go ahead, select a floor. You build it. You click again to confirm. That, that builds instantly, but if I want to get rid of it, I have to manually tear it down bit by bit. So get, get out of there once again. It's That's an unnecessary uh, obtuse amount of movement there. So in other words, when I click build and then I say, oh, I want to go back to the original menu. You can't do it without clicking that stupid little X, which should never be the case. Like if, you, if I click build, I should probably just open it up so I could just click build again to close it. That would, that would make sense, so I wouldn't have to mouse all the way over there to the corner. But it's, you know, it, it's a small thing overall, right? Uh, okay, so we have to mine this floor to get rid of it. That's the only way to actually get rid of it. Uh, they're not going to mine it apparently right now because they think uh, they should be hunting. Okay, here, hunt this, hunt that, and then you'll see nobody is actually going to hunt, are they? No, they're not going to hunt. And why is that? Well, because if we look at work allocation here, only a certain amount of people can be allocated towards different tasks, apparently. They require tools, and you only start with a certain number of them, which, you know, in some ways, having tools for professions makes sense, but in other ways, it makes it a little bit too limiting in terms of what's going on. Uh, I, I, might, I might not even have a hunter. Did I have a hunter? It says, no, that's just shepherding. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have a couple of people uh, set to hunting, and I don't see them hunting these animals at, at all. So, you know, I, I don't know what, what to, what's going on with that. So, they don't want to hunt. There's really no easy way to tell them to do anything. You always have to right-click on stuff, like right-click on this tree. It's another problem I've been having. If I want to chop down a tree like this one, I can right-click on it. And click, okay, that one is actually set for chopping already, but you'll notice, even though it is already set for chopping, there's no indicator of it. I have no idea which one of these trees I've already set up to chop. I'd have to go and right click each and every single one of them. And I'm not even sure if this works. If I can select all of them and click uh, chop, I, that might actually chop all of them, which would be good, but there's really no indicator that that is the case, which I think is a problem. And it's the same thing with uh, harvesting crops. Like when I click harvest here, is it going to harvest all the crops I selected or just harvest the one closest to the mouse curse or whatever? It's not the worst thing, but it's something that I'm unsure about. And it, it is, like I said, it's detracting from the enjoyment I have of the game. In addition to this, I can't rebind the hotkeys. If you go to the options menu, you'll notice there is, it doesn't have any ability to rebind hotkeys. So, when we take a look at the help guide, for example, this is the, really the only way you can figure out how to use the controls, like the keyboard commands and stuff. You'll find out that to rotate the camera requires an H for some oddball reason. Instead of having it be like uh, Q and E, it's G and H. 
So I, I'm used to playing real-time strategy, right? And in real-time strategy games, most of them are that annoying beeping sound. Most of them are Q and E. It's just natural. It's a natural extension of your reach. And right now, Q and E don't do anything. So what was the purpose? What's the purpose of making me reach all the way over here to G and H to rotate the camera when Q and E are within easy access and they don't do anything? That makes me think that the game is actually um, like programmed by somebody who doesn't use an English keyboard. Maybe that's the case. Maybe I can give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. But it's just really kind of strange for somebody who comes from that to not uh, from that background of real-time strategy to not have Q and E as an option at all. And this could be easily mitigated if they just allow the, the player to remap the controls for these various things. If I could remap uh, the directional keys to whatever I want, or WASD to whatever uh, actions I wanted in the game, it wouldn't be such a big issue, right? But you can't. You can't remap anything. And that's certainly something that has been bogging me down. It has been annoying me because when you do something like this, oh, okay, I want to build. Uh, I'm going to build a, a floor again this time. Right. I uh, select that. You got to select the material here. We lay that down. And now I want to um, uh, mouse around, I suppose. No, I actually cancel that. As a matter of fact, that's not how this bug works. I want to build something. I click build. I click uh, the material. And then I start mousing around. And you'll notice there's this little search bar in the left-hand side. On occasion, for some reason, that receives focus when I'm pressing WASD. Like right now, it received focus. I'm not sure how or why, but it did. And now I can no longer move around the map using WASD because it's being entered in the search bar. It's entering all that text in the search bar instead of acting as like, so then you gotta click that little tiny, tiny X again and mouse out of there. And look at this. Here's some very unnatural lighting. I don't know what this is exactly supposed to be. It looks like somebody has a huge computer monitor though, pointed at the landscape here, and it's being illuminated by that. This does not look like moonlight to me. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels so artificial, so like fluorescent. It doesn't feel like moonlight. I, I imagine it's supposed to be moonlight, but it just doesn't look like it. I really, I'm not sure why. So there you are, you can't mouse around while building. You can't remap your hotkeys because reasons. You have to click a little tiny X to cancel every single build rather than simply being able to right click or you know, right click once you have something selected to cancel selecting that or or simply uh, you know closing the build menu by clicking the build button again which would make it a lot less um, you, you don't have to mouse from here to Timbuktu and back every single time. Great little quality of life improvements right there that could be made. And then there was the issue with the research tree. So he, right here is the research table and you can uh, research different technologies there, right? So right now it's set to health. Uh, we can also research like animals and stuff. Now when I first was looking at this, I thought you could search individual things inside each category. So in other words, like we have machinery here. I thought you could go ahead, select this, and then click start research. No, it doesn't work that way. And it, I guess it sort of makes sense in some ways that it works, that doesn't work that way, but in other ways it doesn't. For example, when I click on cot, I can see it actually, it changes color very subtly, but it does change color, which made me think I could actually click on that and select it as a research, but you can't. You can only select these as researches. It's a minor thing. Granted, that's a really minor thing, but you know, just along with everything else, it made it really kind of annoying to deal with. So what about the game itself? You know, what is the objective of it? What do we have going on here? Here are some beds that your um, kins sleep in them when they feel like. Uh, apparently, because they, they don't necessarily do it whenever night comes. Sometimes they'll just be sitting around here, like this one. A lot of the times they're sitting around because at the start of the game I found, I don't have jobs for all of them. They all have very particular skill sets that are not necessarily going to be used from the start of the game, and since, like I said, they a lot of those professions require tools, you're not actually going to be able to assign everybody to chopping trees at the beginning of the game, for example, so that way uh, you can make sure all of them are employed. Instead, you're going to have 
like one or two chopping trees and the rest of them have to find something else to occupy themselves with because otherwise they're just simply going to be sitting around doing nothing which is the case for me most of the time because i'm slow as hell at actually finding tasks for them to do uh, but you'll notice yeah like even right now i don't think they're doing anything because it, it might be because they're hungry but i don't think so i have five raw meals left there's really no reason why they should refuse to work just because there's a lack of food in the future like this is like an impending lack of food it is not a current lack of food it's not like they're currently starving they currently have food available to them to eat if they need it but they're not doing anything i don't know why uh, it seems to happen quite a bit of the time like i said when they're eating that one time they didn't want to go back to work afterwards they just sat there and stared and it makes it difficult to play the game uh really it does like i have i told them to chop this tree down they're not they're not doing it what if I tell them to harvest this tree? Here are a couple of trees. Let's see if we can harvest them. I don't think anybody's going to go over there and do it. See? Like, how, how am I supposed to get more food if nobody's going to go over there and harvest anything? They keep complaining about there not being enough food. They say, okay, they'll say, go hunt food. Well, I've told them to go hunt these things. In the past, I've told them to hunt them. Get milk. Right now, they're, I, I told them to go hunt them. I have somebody um, assigned to be a hunter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. This is supposed to, the Miles Parker is supposed to be a hunter. There's really no way to zoom to these individuals. Like if I double click on Miles Parker, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, what do we have here? It doesn't display the name when I'm doing this, so that doesn't help me a whole lot. I, I see so many of my kins standing around doing nothing uh, for no apparent reason other than the game is bugged out. and. It, that makes it very, very difficult to get a colony up and going if the game is in, so easily bugs out. Someone get me my axe. That chicken is looking mighty tasty right now. Well, good. You have five raw meals left. So if you're hungry, eat one of them. If those five raw meals are running out, if they have run out, go ahead and hunt this cow or go ahead and pick these apples over here that apparently nobody wants to pick. They're ready. They're ready for harvest. I can right click and I can click harvest. They're done. If we look at their growth rate, they're 100% grown. So why isn't anybody harvesting it? Because really the thing is, I don't want to unnecessarily be harsh on the game. Like I kind of feel bad about it that I couldn't have given it a better first impressions because Somebody probably put a lot of work into it, and they're probably still putting a lot of work into it. So it's difficult to have somebody say that it is unusable, really, at that point, when they've when they've opened themselves up to being criticized like that, and then you go ahead and do it. It, it does not make me feel good about covering the game. In some ways, I almost prefer not to, but it looks like it shows promise. Here are some crops being grown at the moment. I planted them. Carrots. Over here we have wheat. The carrots, are they grown? Yeah, we could actually harvest those. See if that works. See, what what is this little dude doing? They're just sitting there. All of them. Doing nothing. For no obvious reason. And... That's what really makes me sad about it. Now, there's another game that's similar to this called Stonehearth. It is, it's sort of the same um, colony management sim with this very Minecraft sort of terrain style and stuff. And uh, there's nothing wrong with having a similar idea to somebody else, but if it's not actually better than the product that's currently available on the market, I think that's uh, a little bit of a step backwards. So, you know, what? what is this game essentially? Well, it's like a worse version of Stonehearth at the moment. I just think it's a little bit too early to put it into early access, given the scope of these bugs, these apparent bugs. I, I really don't know what else to call them. But if how can I feed my kins if they're not going to do anything I tell them to do? I told them, I told them to harvest carrots. Nobody will do it. I have two people assigned to crops. Okay, let's assign somebody else. Assign that guy. Nobody does anything. I don't, I don't think you can put windows into structures either. Like, 
you know, basic stuff that you'd be able to do in Minecraft. I don't think you can do it here, which is just too bad. Like we do have some different workbenches available. I was going to build a steam generator, as a matter of fact. I was working towards that. Can we craft one? Yeah. It actually does queue up. But they say stuff like, what's the point in crafting? I think I see some fruit ready to harvest. Yeah, so apparently they won't craft when they're running so low on food. But I've told them to harvest food. I've told them to harvest carrots. I've told them to harvest the fruit over here, these apple trees. They don't do it. They, they mostly, mostly just sit around and complain about it. It just baffles me. Like I've said before, I don't know how you're supposed to be able to progress in the game when they won't do stuff you tell them to do. And it should be noted, they have in the past harvested things when I right-clicked right and told them to harvest it. Okay, so it's not like I'm misunderstanding how to use this command. It has worked in the past, but for some something has happened and it won't work anymore. And that makes progress next to near impossible. Like, am I going to load up the game every 15 minutes or so, every time it bugs out, if, if it would even reset it? Am I going to try playing a new game after new game and after new game as each one of them continually has this bug and thereby interrupting my progress and making it almost impossible to progress past a very basic sort of existence here? a very ba base level of technology there's just really no point to it to doing that so that's why i really didn't see much benefit in playing it any longer than i actually did so that that's the current state of the kindred it is available in their early access but at this state i wouldn't bother with it yet because it's not ready as far as i can tell it's just not ready for even early access, in my opinion. But I do wish them the best. Going forward, hopefully, these issues can be fixed now that I've sort of addressed them. So thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you next time.